Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in. Today's name of this video is which which one will stay, which one will go. Um, I have three 1911s in front of you, and um, I'm thinking of getting rid of one of my 1911s. Um, I guess uh, the reason is, as far as I'm concerned, um, for the features on the gun, I feel uh, I could get a little bit better gun to have those features. Now let me just tell you what I have here. I'm not even going to touch the guns. Well, maybe I will touch them. They're all unloaded. Okay guys, I can't back and forth saying they're unloaded. It's a pain in the ass to keep unloading all these guns, but let me just, I'm just going to lift a little. Okay, the first one is a Wilson Combat, and this is a Super Grade. Okay. Second one's a Nighthawk Custom. This is a T3 with a ported pearl. The next one's an Ed Brown Coke Carry. All three are nice guns. Feature wise, from the factory, the Ed Brown comes with the least features. Feature wise, from the factory, the Nighthawk comes with the most features from the factory. And you can add things to it too. Um, feature wise, the Wilson Combat, you can get probably the most features on the gun. Um, adding features, paying extra. Uh, I've taken all three of these guns to the range. Uh, they're all pretty much brand new guns, less than a month old. I've fired each one, probably about 70 rounds in each one of them. I've got some multiple videos up, and I'll probably be putting some more uh, videos up with the Ed Brown too. Maybe tomorrow I'll take this guy out and fire a little bit more. Um, and uh, the, the, the Ed Brown is a nice gun, it's accurate, but internally it's totally different than the Nighthawk Custom and the Wilson Combat. Granted, you know, a Nighthawk Custom is a $3,500 gun, and this one's more because it has more features on it and it's ported. And the Wilson Combat's a $6,500 gun, $7,000 gun. This particular one is a super great. So, granted, I understand that. Okay, difference in price. But this one here, I had to spend extra money, this uh, uh, Ed Brown, and put more enhancement and it made it better. And I spent an extra 13 on it. So, which one will go of these three? I'm not sure if the Ed Brown's going yet. Uh, if the Ed Brown does go, I would probably pick up a Talon II bobtailed Nighthawk Custom and stainless. Just because uh, the engineering in the gun is a little bit better. This is, you know, these, you know, from the factory, the Ed Browns are really nice. They come pretty much loaded. They have a lot of features in them. They have a lot of stuff. Remember, I, all these guns are empty. I have dummy rounds on every one of them, but I just don't feel like lifting them up now and I'm not going to really touch them. But, uh, shoot, check your guns. To be sure anytime. So I just want to be safe. And I will be having some Glock videos coming up. Um, I'll be getting, I'll be, I'm just waiting for my paperwork and everything. I should be Glock certified armor in about a week or so, two weeks. And I'll be putting some videos up and have a little armor or corner for you guys if you have questions and stuff. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, ask me now because, uh, you know, I can, I can. Uh, get you answers to your questions. Any Glock questions, 19, you know, whatever. Uh, but feature wise, um, internally, uh, the Ed Brown just doesn't doesn't cut the cut in the mustard. Uh, the Nighthawk has more internal features designed, you know, better than the Wilson Compact, believe it or not. It's just that, um, so, you know, if, if the Ed Brown even goes, now, I'd like to know what your opinion is. You've seen my videos. Um, you know, maybe I can uh, shoot the fire out of them tomorrow. I'll take them each one in and put about, you know, 20 or 30 rounds. I don't know if I can do it tomorrow because I'm going to be kind of busy. I could be able to go to the range. But, um, yeah. So, I just wanted to bring this, you know, quick video why my decision is that. Now, I'm still going to have three 1911s because I'm getting the mother of all 1911s here in about a month. 
is the mother of all 1911s. You see it's going to shit in your pants. It is the mother of the 1911s. Period. It's better than any custom gun you can buy in the United States. And this one actually is made in Italy. Hint, hint. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to go through that and just go through the guns and just mention this to you. Um, but, uh, thanks for tuning in. And, uh, if you, if it was you, which, which, which one would you keep? Which one, you know, I mean, I'm going to replace it with something else. But, uh, you know, I, I kind of just, you know, keep the guns with the best features in them. Uh, they perform, you know, a little bit better. The Ed Brown's nice. It's not a bad, it's a nice carry gun. But I'll tell you, out of all of them, this um, Nighthawk custom with the officer frame feels better than all of them. But, um, so thanks a lot and let me know what you think. And uh, please comment um, and just let me know. Thanks a lot.